There's Maya and her baby girl Katie. <coughs> Hang on a minute. What's going on over there? Seems like we've got another troop in Skullhead's occupied territory. It's Loena's troop. Doubtlessly, Skullhead's troop would be able to cast them out within a few minutes. Unfortunately, nobody is hurt. It's mostly bluffing. Let's get back to our endearing babies after the brief and abrupt interlude. Isn't little Katie absolutely gorgeous, with those big round dazzling eyes? And it looks like someone had been taking her climbing sessions seriously. Practically all babies are energetic little bunnies these days, nothing stopping them. How lucky we are to witness the growth of these amazing creatures. So small, yet so spirited. Mm. 
Gwen is a moderately high-ranking female in this troop. Bethy is a perky little kid, isn't she? Just like her late brother Bowen. I'm really sorry that you've never got the chance to meet your older brother. He's such a sweet boy. Indeed, it's so difficult to resist the overwhelming urge to babysit Bethy. And there's Grace's little girl Luna, Bethy's cousin. Gemini and Grace are sisters, daughters of Sarah. Gwen just can't keep her hands off Sarah's granddaughters. a little refreshment. I felt someone pinching me. And as I look down, of course, it's none other than sweet little Belle. Time for another grooming session.
And now moving on to groom my other leg. How considerate of you, Belle. Sarah's family. But of course, not all of them. Sarah has six children in total. They all look so alike, except Gemini. Gemini resembles skull head very closely. Oh no, is Grandmum Sarah in a bad mood? That innocent little face Beth has got. It's like she's trying to make sense of what was going on. We can still see Sarah's rectal prolapse here. But with the benefit of hindsight, she has completely recovered from it. Gemini is a doting mother. I cannot even begin to imagine how hard it was for her to accept the death of her very first baby boy Bowen. There we have our superstar Bubbles. And the kindest and selfless mother, Eyeshadow, who has her eyes glued to precious baby Bubbles. She's just so full of energy and enthusiasm, a kiddo who is never tired. What a sneaky little girl. Eyeshadow is such a gorgeous young mum. She skipped a year, and that's why she is unable to get over her obsession with bubbles.
just having a nice little chat with the current alpha, Wild. My predecessor Skullhead was a formidable leader who commands a great deal of respect. It was an honor to be his right-hand man. I can't believe he has already been gone for seven months, it feels like yesterday. Who knows what's going to happen. But for now, I'll try to live up to his expectations. It's rough housing time for the boys. Gooby is growing up to be a dashing young boy. He reminds me of Georgie in Boss's Troop. How rare it is for Gooby to sit still and not make any trouble. Everyone's moving upwards. And there's the prudent mum Rena, still holding Jenny with one hand while walking. Jenny is able to cling onto mum properly, Rena is just being extra careful. The first baby born in 2022 in Skullhead's troop. Just like his older sister Jessie, the first baby in 2020. <laughs>
Tai is looking rather weak at this point. Tina just doesn't have enough milk for her. I really hate to break it to you, but Tai is no longer with us. This was the last time I filmed her. It is most likely that Tai had starved to death 